want to do my own thing, and I think I'm good enough to do my own thing, perhaps, but thinking about it and wanting to do it and wishing I could do it and clicking my heels together and actually doing it are different things. So like, what, what was that process like for you? Well, let me tell you why I had to create this mindset. First, when I decided that I wanted to get into the space of being a coach and a speaker, I remember I was on the phone with a friend of mine um, at the time, was, I thought was a friend, and we were talking just about, you know, just what we had been going through journeys, and him and his wife were putting together these conferences, and I'll never forget, I asked him, I said, well, why don't you have me come and speak, and he told me that I was not ready. He was like, because you're not ready. And I was like, what? So at that moment, that's when I realized, like, Taria, you don't need to wait for somebody to tell you that you're good enough to get on their platform. Build your own. So mm. I put out to do my own workshop. My very first workshop that I did, and I'll never forget the number, I had 61 people that showed up to this event. Now, keep in mind, the style of speaking that I do, I typically pitch an offer at the end, mm -hmm. right? So I sell at the end. So that very first event, we had 61 people. I think I had 11 people that were like vendor tables, which by the way, helped me to pay for the marketing in the space, right? And then I made an offer and I sold five packages. This is my first time ever doing the workshop. Yeah. But I learned this skill set because in network marketing, that's all we did.